Hello, everyone, and welcome to our discussion today on the FCA portfolio offered by BASF Performance and Formulation Additives. Across all the industries we serve, BASF is here to deliver solutions to turn your formulation challenges into opportunities. Our EFCA portfolio is one of the solutions that is here to set the standard. We encompass a combination of highly efficient and effective dispersing agents, wetting agents, surface modifiers, defomers, and rheology modifiers for non-aqueous formulations, also including eco-friendly solutions. My name is Erin Moore. I am the marketing manager for our BASF formulation and performance additives team here in North America. I've been with BASF for two and a half years and I started this role in mid 2020. Joining us today will be Randy Brown, our technical manager. Then we have Tony Moy, the technical specialist in automotive and industrial. And then we'll wrap things up with Charlie Shu, the technical specialist for printing and packaging. So Randy, can you tell us a little bit more about your role and um, a little bit more about yourself? Yes, hi Aaron, thank you. Yes, as uh, Aaron mentioned, this is Randy Brown. I'm the technical service manager for the formulation additives team. And so I manage the tech specialists on the group as well as the laboratory activities uh, that support our customers. Um, and so I've been with BASF with, uh, for eight years and um, I'm also answering questions today as tech specialist as it relates to the wood coatings area. Um, on my spare time, I, I love to travel and um, experience new cultures as well as um, babysit and do uh, fun activities with uh, my handful of grandkids. Thanks. Thank you, Randy. Uh, next up is Tony Moy, one of our technical specialists who works closely with the automotive and industrial markets. So Tony, can you tell us a little bit more about your role and about yourself? Sure thing, Aaron. Yes, uh, I am the technical specialist for BASF formulation additives uh, specific to the industrial and automotive market space. I've been with BASF since 2012 and in my current role as a tech specialist since 2016. So that's basically four years now. Um, my A little bit about myself, I have a variety of hobbies. Um, I love to do digital illustration. I have run nine marathons and continuing on. And I also have a black belt in martial arts and I love cooking and cruising. Thanks, Tony. Last but not least, we have Charlie Shu. Charlie, can you tell us more about your role and more about you? Thanks, Aaron. Uh, this is Charlie Shu. Uh, I have been with uh, BASF for 12 years, and my major job is uh, for uh, formulation additives uh, focused on uh, printing packaging industry. And uh, at my leisure time, I like to play tennis and uh, golf. Thanks, Charlie, and thank you all for your introductions. So now we'll jump right into the bulk of our conversation, focusing on the EFCA portfolio in different applications and industries. We'll start off talking about wood coatings and uh, have some conversations specifically with Randy. So we'll jump right into it. So Randy, why are our EFCA products so valuable to the wood industry and what are some of the unique benefits they bring to this market space? Thank you, Aaron. Our EFCA brand of products is primarily targeted for solvent-based coatings. As you know, solvent-based coatings for wood applications account for the highest share of all technologies used in furniture, cabinetry, and general wood coatings. Although solvent-based formulations are generally a mature segment with limited new development, our EFCA products add value as effective defomers that maintain clarity, effective dispersants for pigment dispersing, and effective surface modifiers for both slip properties and wetting properties. Thanks, Randy. What are some of the qualities of the EFCA products that allow them to compete in the mature solvent-based formulation market? We have several unique products in our EFCA portfolio that go beyond traditional formulation additives, as I previously mentioned. Uh, for example, our EFCA IO, which stands for ionic liquids, um, is a group of products that adds conductivity to your coating. Uh, and we have several options in this group that vary in their polarity, so they can be used in different solvent polarity systems. Further, our EFCA FA group 
is a group of fatty acid um, dispersants and compatibilizers that offer pigment acceptance uh, compatibility properties as well as suspension of dense pigments. Additionally, our EFCA PL group, which stands for uh, plasticizers, we have some non-phthalate options, and in particular, our EFCA PL 5646 is a non-phthalate plasticizer that can be used with nitrocellulose lacquers and acid cure conversion varnish type products, and it offers um, uh, flexibility, compatibility uh, to those formulations as well. Thanks, Randy. So now we'll move uh, forward in the industrial space and connect with Tony Moy, our technical specialist for industrial and automotive markets on the EFCA line. Tony, how does our EFCA product line support the ever-evolving industrial market lands landscape? Well, Aaron, our EFCA portfolio is geared towards non-aqueous systems in general, which are commonplace in the industrial market. With that said, however, our ECA portfolio also provides sustainable solutions in the form of 100% solids additives, which bring about low VOC uh, in the formulations. Some of the products are even compatible in both solvent and water-based systems and can reduce complexity as the industrial landscape transitions from solvent to water-based coatings in the future. Thanks, Tony. Uh, can you share a little bit more about the types of products that exist that can provide this type of flexibility for a formulator? No problem, Aaron. Actually, one of the products that I'd like to highlight is EFCA SL3299, which is an excellent modified silicone wetting agent that is universally applicable. It's also cross-linkable, giving added durability to your industrial coatings. So specifically, EFCA SL3299 is a slip and leveling agent, which lowers the coefficient of friction at the air interface surface of your coating, which provides anti-blocking features, for example. It also provides hydrophobicity to your coating. Thanks, Tony, for sharing your perspective in the industrial market space. Now we'll shift gears and focus on automotive coatings. Why is EFCA the go-to when you think of additives to solve formulation challenges in automotive coatings? Well, Aaron, that is a great question. Dispersants are one of the key additive tools that a formulator looks to for getting the most color development out of a pigment. And color development is one of the primary things that's of importance in automotive coatings. We have a variety of dispersants that enable color development some of which are universally applicable in water and solid-based systems. Some dispersants are specific to inorganic pigments, while others are specific to organic pigments. Then there's some dispersants that can cover both types of pigments, and we also call those universal. So the key point here is that we have a variety of tools that give formulators the flexibility to customize for their system and their particular needs. Thanks, Tony. Um, can you provide an example of a universal dispersant in the EFCA portfolio and describe some of its advantages? Sure, Aaron. So EFCA PX4701 is a universal dispersing agent for pigments, but it's also uh, universal in terms of its applicability for a variety of different media. This gives you the flexibility as a formulator if you're looking to transition eventually from a solvent-based application to a water-based application. Thanks. Are there EFCA dispersants that are particularly effective in color and black pigments as well? Yes. Um, so one of these is EFCA PX4780. It is best in class for dispersing carbon black pigments and is cross-linkable for enhanced durability. EFCA PX4780 is great not only for carbon black, but is also great for dispersing your more difficult to disperse organic pigments, things like phthalo blues and greens, quinacridone reds, etc. We have seen extreme viscosity suppression with carbon black pigments when using EFCA PX4780. And the fact that EFCA PX4780 it's able to produce carbon black dispersion viscosities that are one to two orders of magnitude lower in viscosity than with competitive products is a testament to its actual efficiency. 
Thank you, Tony, for sharing those aspects of the EFCA portfolio as it relates to the industrial and automotive market space. Last but not least, we are going to touch base on printing and packaging applications for the EFCA portfolios. And I have with me Charlie Shu to talk about EFCAs. So Charlie, what aspect of the EFCAs makes them ideal for printing and packaging applications? Thanks, Aaron. Uh, as we heard from Randy and Tony, that the EFCA portfolio include a broad range of additive for ink formulators, uh, such as the dispersing agent, wetting agent, surface modifier, and deformers for non-aqueous inks and the coating application, especially energy curable formulations. What challenges are typical for printing and packaging customers and how might EFCA products help circumvent those issues? So this is a very good question, Aaron. Uh, there are many technical challenges in uh, formulating inks uh, with the superior properties. The emerging market trend for printing packaging market is to provide sustainable solutions. Energy curable inks and the process such as the cured by UV light or electron beams address uh, sustainability demands such as the reduced VOC. Sustainability is a big factor when it comes to printing and packaging. So are there a couple of EFCA products that you would recommend that show that superior activity you mentioned? Yes, Aaron. Uh, BSF offers dispersing agent based on advanced polymerization technologies to make a color dispersion with a superior performance properties. For example, EFCA PX4701 is a high molecular weight dispersion, which is a reliable product for making pigment dispersion. Besides that, uh, we do have a deformer EFCA PB2770. That is a product uh, we just launched and allow the formulation uh, with a great clarity uh, to maintain prior as well as the after curing to enable the production of the defect free high quality surface for ink coatings. Another product I'd like to mention is EFCA SL3257. EFCA SL3257 is a slip agent that commonly used in UV coating application. It is an organically modified polysiloxane surface modifier, have a capability to reduce surface tension, improve leveling for surface smoothness, increase scratch and abrasion resistance, enhance anti-blocking characteristic without cratering. Thank you, Charlie, for sharing that perspective on the EFCA portfolio in the printing and packaging industry. That said, this concludes our discussion today on the EFCA portfolio within BASF formulation and performance additives. You are able to connect with us via email, phone, or and visit our website. Thank you again for your time. BASF, we create chemistry.